Here we're standing on the first tee, opening hole, 349 yards, par four. As we can see here, there's a big bunker on the left-hand side to protect anything that's hooked off the planet. Plus here, we've got water hazards protecting the right, so we basically want to make sure, all right, we want to play this safe. First shot, first shot of the day, so we want to play it more or less down the center. In the far end, you can see a tree that's kind of popping up, dark green color, around, surrounded by it's just smaller trees. That's more the direction we would like to play it. Slightly left of that tree, again, gives us a good angle setting up the second shot into this game. Now, most of it, because you've got the lake here on the side, we always have a little bit of a, a breeze towards you, right? So you're always going to play maybe a club longer than you would. Main things to pay attention on is when you look down there, you see the front bunker, obviously the water on the right, and then the bunker, which is tucked into the back, right? So it's a pretty tight little approach shot. And we basically want to really focus on to get into the, the bush in the middle of the green is probably the best way to actually look at this shot, right? And make sure, take a bit more club, because it's always into the breeze and it's a two-tier green. Okay, here we are on the first par three face, second hole. Only 138 yards, but it's a short distance, but it's going to be quite treacherous. So when you can see water all the way on the right-hand side, again, we are facing always a breeze from this lake, right? So be careful about the yardage here. And what we basically want to do, you see the guys down there, they're actually looking for their ball. So that's a, that's a famous spot over there, a little bit on the right-hand side. And then on the other hand, you can see the left is well protected by the bunkers. So another quite tight little green to be playing in. You can see, again, it's a double tier green, right? If you're playing onto the front pin, it's probably the easiest one. But apart from that, make sure aim center, center green most of times, and adjust to the front wind you're getting. You can probably hear it now a little bit. Okay, and here we are on the tee box on hole number three. Par four, relatively long for you guys. It's 384 of, this, uh, of the regular men's tees. And the good thing is, though, we have a little bit of a breeze coming again off that lake, which we just came from. But this time, it's actually helping our tee shot a little bit. If you look down the fairway, nothing really to be... It's quite wide, it's quite generous, so you don't really need to be worried about hitting it a little bit offline. The only thing that can be a little bit caught if is, is the, the bunker on the right and on the left, which is only going to come into play for tee shots. Is, probably carrying it around 210. Apart from that, it's a pretty easy tee shot. All right, here we are, approach shot on hole number three. After you had a decent tee shot, you're probably gonna end up around somewhere here, 160, 170 yards. Again, it's an uphill hole, so make sure you take enough club to get all the way up front because we have the front protected by bunkers on the right-hand side, which is a regular kind of trap which everybody ends up on. If you go beyond that, if you make sure you have enough club, then you've got a much better chance of actually getting up and down nicely. Left hand side, and again, there's a bunker protecting it, so make sure you kind of aim right side off the, off, the, off the green. Try to make sure you're actually getting all the way down there. All right, here we are on hole number four, another par four. Relatively short hole this time, it's 302 yards, and as you can, it looks quite spacious, right? So, what you got to be careful of here is on these ravines over here and the water, all that goes all the way up quite deeply onto the left. So if you're pulling it left, you know, danger is that we are gonna be in the trees or actually in the water hazard. So you wanna make sure you're aiming yourself to the far end bunker onto the right hand side of this tree, right? So you wanna try to feel you're gonna aim into the far deep bunker down there so that you get a decent angle on your second shot, which we're gonna show just in a minute. Okay, so here we are, approach shot on hole number four. After you had a successful drive coming down the center, you probably hopefully avoided the bunker right behind us. But what you gotta be careful of here on this shot, because we came a little bit more onto the right side of the fairway, we have a much better angle into this kidney-shaped green. Where you can see today, the pin is tucked all the way in the end, so it's a pretty good angle from here to come into it. And basically, you know, pretty easy, simple shot because you're not too far out. You're going to probably be around 180 yards in, because it's quite a short hole. And just make sure you get your wedge slightly to the right of the flag, so try to feel like you're going to aim a little bit more onto the right side of the green. One, you want to avoid the water here on the left hand side, which is also something which is hidden from the tee box, so it's quite treacherous as well. Okay, here we are, hole number five, par four again, 366 yards, and here we're facing a little bit more of a slightly harder tee shot. 
Still, it's quite a wide fairway, but what you can see there is we've got the, the bunker there on the left. It's quite a long bunker, and it's a, a quite an, quite often you see players actually ending up in this bunker because it's definitely a range of the tee. So you want to make sure you avoid that and try to actually make sure you're trying to aim to the far end bunker, which is right in front of the green. That's a pretty good spot to aim at. So you're basically going to avoid the left side and also trouble on the right side, which is the car path and trees. And here we are on the approach shot on the fifth hole. Now after making sure we avoided that bunker which is over there, here we're facing a shot again where you can see we've got the two front bunkers which really protect the screen well. And we want to make sure again the green's raised. So most people I see here they end up short either on the right side where the green just slopes off and makes it a little bit hard to come up on top. Front bunkers protected well so you can come up short either front, left or to the right it's quite a hard shot to come up with and then get back on the green. So make sure you've got enough club to get on top of that green. You feel always like you're trying to get to the back end of the green rather than the short. All right, so here we are on the first part five. She's not too long, it's 480 yards off the white tees here. And, but the tee shot's a, a dangerous one. Even though you think, oh, well, it looks quite inviting, it's quite wide. You do have the bunker on the right, so for your, for your old slicer, that's the problem. Again, most of the times here, we've got quite a bit of a breeze coming straight into us, which again is going to basically hold off the slide, and the slice and help it off to the right there, but the big time. Left side again, we have a wheeze, so if you hook it, trouble, and there's a little bit of a water hazard running through this lead. And even if you crack a fantastic drive straight down the pipe here, got a water running across around 240, 250 yards out from, from this tee box. So if your drive can carry there, you want to maybe back off and hit a three wood. Maybe back off and hit a three wood from here. So that you can actually lay up and play it safe. Right, and here we are, we're on the approach shot on the sixth hole, part five. Now as you successfully laid it up or you didn't you didn't you missed the bunker or you missed the water on the left. Now as it's not too long, you can nicely pace yourself and you have to as well because we've got water all the way on the right hand side. So anything you push or cut has a tendency to go right into that drink over there. So make sure you want to feel all the way down in the end once you're here. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. There's this weather pole, right? a long weather pole. We want to basically have that as our target and try to hit it just left of that. All right, and here we are on the approach shot on the par five, six. So what you can see here, Basically, again, the water on the right-hand side is a little bit of a problem, right? But as you're around 100 yards in, so I don't think you're gonna hit it offline that much. So pretty much aim center green here, so that you can avoid the bunkers protecting front and back of the screen. And not too far off to the right, because then again, the water comes into play. All right, so here we are on the seventh hole, par three. And this is a little bit the final stretch of the front nine, which I quite like, I quite enjoy it, because there's quite some scenic holes here. So what you can see in this par three, massive bunker in front that protects anything that comes short. If you come short of that bunker again, you're in the drink, right? Anything on the right, you're in the drink. Anything on the left, you're in the drink. So definitely make sure you want to get onto the upper tier, double tier tree, green as well. And especially on a pin position like today, it's tucked up far end of the green so you definitely want to make sure you got enough club here we have it 162 today again into a little breeze so club up and make sure you get it onto the top tier okay and here we are on another par 5 the 8th quite long it's 530 yards so probably can't forget about trying to get on it too right so make sure you just gotta make sure you, you gotta get your drive safe on this tee box the drive is really really important here again we've got water on the right hand side same lake that's been protecting all the other holes coming in so we don't want to slice we got bunkers down left about 220 yards off off the tee box so it's 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 in range so you could decide maybe even hit a three foot off making sure you actually hit it down the center target wise in the far end you can see what i like to call it's like the tree of life right so that big big tree all the way in the end and I'd like you to aim just left of that to make sure you've got a good angle coming in for your second attempt, third shot, setting everything up for a good hole. And here we are, second shot, par five, eighth hole. After a decent drive, you still have 
well over 300 yards all the way to the green, which you can see in the very far back where the leg kind of swings in. We have a little tongue of the green coming out with a bunker right in front of it. So that's still well out of reach. So what, we've, what you guys want to do is making sure that we're hitting it down the left-hand side of the fairway. You see the far end bunker just kind of like behind these trees. If you're down in the center of the fairway here, you get a pretty good angle into that shot. That's definitely where you want to go. Make sure you take something where you feel like you can hit it pretty pretty well, pretty straight, so that again, the water's all the way along the right so that we not make sure we cut it out there. And here we are for the third shot on the par 5 8 hole. So after you've laid up nicely here, here we've got a pretty decent angle again into a kind of kidney shaped green, which is if you would be over there, you had a very small target to aim at, but being a little bit more on this side, you have much more green to aim at. You're kind of taking out the front right bunker. And here, the only thing is we don't want to be too long because we've got another bunker protecting it in the back. So here we want to make sure, aim pretty much left front edge of the green, and you should be pretty well set up for a nice birdie putt if you can manage. And here we are on the ninth, a nice way to finish the whole front nine. 369 yards. So it's it's up there for a yard for you guys. But again, look at the tee shot, what you're facing. Again, it's called water side for nothing, right? We've got a big lake again for you guys on the right hand side. So every slice is going to love this hole. Down in the far end, we have two bunkers. So definitely here, we want to aim to the left side of the bunker, of the first bunker. You see the closer one towards us. That's a safe shot to take, right? It's not too far of a carry over there. And it again gives us a decent angle of setting up a shot into the green. And here we are on the approach shot on the ninth hole. So after moving it down the fairway, you're probably gonna have a shot around 160, 150 yards into the green. Again, as you look all the way up, the green slightly raised. And again, we have two bunkers on the front. So again, anything that's coming up short, is gonna be punished. The water comes around through the back as well, right? So which you can't see from here. So if you're just thinking, oh, I'll take two club extra, you might end up in the water behind. Right. So the safe way to play this is just try to aim over the left edge of this front bunker and make sure you kind of play it a little bit onto the left side of the green. Okay, here we are on 10th, starting the back nine with a 509 yard long par five, which you can see we've got a bit of an elevated tee box, so quite a nice view, which we are looking at here. Fairways quite generously wide. Main issue here is making sure we miss the right hand side right? so the ravines and the trees on the right hand side cause a lot of trouble plus also the big bunker there on the right hand side is in reach off the tee so we definitely want to make sure we keep ourselves a bit more towards the left center of the fairway to get again a decent shot coming up for the second one okay here we are for the second shot the 10th hole par five after a decent drive left hand center of the fairway you're just sitting somewhere on top of that ridge over here you're still leaving yourself around 240 into the green so I suggest again, maybe just play it, lay it up. If, you're, if your three wood is long enough, you know, go for it. Make sure if you want to go for it, play left hand side of the green because you don't, you don't have any bunkers protecting everything. And again, you get a decent angle coming in from that left hand side of the green. Kidney shape, pins usually down top on the right hand side as it is today. For the guy who wants to lay up, just grab any iron. Make sure you, you hit it straight up the center of the fairway, kind of aim pretty much center of the center of the green and that sets you up with a pretty simple wet shot coming in and here we are third shot on the 10th so what you basically see if you if you try to went for it for your second shot you're going to be past these bunkers on the front what and have a pretty easy chip coming up if you decided to lay up you're going to be in this area around 100 yards in again what we can see here on the right hand side we've got three bunkers protecting it anything that comes up short and dry you're in trouble Basically, simple shot, center of the green, maybe left center of the, of the green is a shot to play here. Just get it onto the dance floor. And here we are on the 11th hole, par four uphill, 328 yards here off the white tees. Now what you can see, 
main thing here to be careful of is the tree here on the right hand side so you don't want to make sure you're ending up on those trees and basically blocking off the shot into the green bunker here on the left is reachable right so it's another one we want to basically kind of stay away from the easiest way to play this hole you see the far end bunkers which are basically the green side bunkers on the right hand side all the way up there that's a very very good line to take right, so we basically want to feel like okay let's try to aim towards these bunkers down the end so we stay out of trouble both ends all right here we are on the approach up on the 11th par 4 uphill so after a decent tee shot you're probably going to have yourself about 150 yards in to a green which is again well protected by the bunkers on the right hand side there's a big slope so it's double tier greens big slope coming from the right down towards the pin so if you feel like you've got a, a front pin like this it actually plays a little bit into your hand so you try to play it into the center of the green slightly right to the pin so the green's going to help you bring the ball back down towards the pin bunker here on the left hand side basically is a little bit out of play if you're not just going to pull it straight into it so definitely Make sure center fairway and have the green help you to pull the ball back down to the pin. I like this hole, it's a beautiful little hole here. It's a 12th short par 3, 134 yards. And what you can see is there, they're watering the green just now. So make sure we keep up with maintenance out here at Siam Country Club. Front bunker. Back bunker on the far right, and again the protective bunker on the left. So the front is well, well, well protected. So definitely again here is club choice is key. Making sure that we actually get it here today. We've got a back pin, so we want to make sure we get enough club to make sure we get it sent landing somewhere in the center of the green. Right? Anything that comes up short here is going to be a little bit of hard work to finish up. Here we are on the par 4, 14th hole at Siam Country Club Waterside, 339 yards. Pretty straight on hole to be honest. The only thing you've got to be careful of is we don't want to really leak it to the right. We've got car park trees over there. So make sure you're aiming a little bit more down left side of that big tree you can see down there, that slender tall tree. You want to aim just left of that. So make sure you avoid the right side and obviously the bunkers all the way far on the left are definitely in play. So if you're keeping yourself towards that tall tree, you should be good. You're going to be somewhere around 120 to 100 yards in here, so it's not the longest hole. And what we can see here, definitely got two protective bunkers here on the right and on the left. There's nothing behind, so again, you do not want to be short. And if you're short, make sure to be short pretty much in the center of the green here. Now, for example, today we've got the pin tucked on the right-hand side, so that right-hand bunker really comes into play. So I would suggest aim for the center of the green so that you have a bit of margin of error on both sides. Here we are on the 15th, another short par four with 322 yards from the, from the men's seas all the way down. It's small, it's short, but quite treacherous. As you can see, we've got a lot of bunkers placed out there. So definitely again, loads of trees and cough off on the right. So that's again, something we want to avoid. Then all the bunkers, the first bunker on the left-hand side definitely comes in to play off the tee. Even the bunker behind that can come off the play. So if you're, sometimes if you feel like you're quite long off the tee, driver might not be the first choice here. Maybe go back down to a three wood and make sure you stay away from the kind of second wave of bunkers down. Basically, as we said, it's quite a short hole, so you're probably going to have around 100 to maybe 80, 70 yards in. Maybe if you're a little further back, not more than like 130 yards. So it's quite a reachable par 4 for most of you guys. But now here, as you can see again, everything is very, very well protected by the bunkers here. Today, pins tucked all the way in the back and right behind these bunkers. So a direct line leaves a really, really small target. So again, as you can see, everything's sloping a little bit from left to right in that back of that green. So you want to make sure you again try to aim for, towards the center of the green. Make sure it can feed a little bit down towards the pin. Right, so here we are on the 16th hole, par 3. Now, do you have the last couple of holes stretch coming into the 18th? And in my opinion, it's one of the best stretches you find definitely here in Thailand. Some very, very nice holes, some really, really cool shots to take, and sometimes some daring shots. You will, you will enjoy the last three holes. So here, we've got a quite short par 3 on the 16th, but you can see what a view. We've got the lake all the way on the left-hand side, plus a big bunker protecting again anything that's short and left. So make sure we stay away from the left. Also the bunkers on the right are quite protective and deep, so we want to stay out of that for sure as well. 
So what you want to basically do here, make sure here today we've got 147 yards on this hole. Sometimes there's always a bit of a breeze with you, right? Just coming down winds as, as it is today. So make sure you've got enough club so that we get it all the way to the center of the green and can stay away from the trouble that's just short on both sides. Here we are on the hole 17th, quite scenic as well and treacherous. I mean, here we have a par four that's not too long. We're only 360 yards away. But the main thing here is we have this lake that's coming in on the, on the left-hand side of the trees that comes all the way up in front of the green. So it's definitely to play. Anything that goes left here is gonna be a hard upcoming second shot if you do not lose your ball. Here on the right-hand side, we have quite a big bunker right, that we want to make sure we avoid. But again, it's definitely to play for anything that's cutting a little bit to the right or for your left is hooking it to the, to, the, to the right. And we want to stay out of that. Basically, the main thing to go is if we can see the, the people down there in the far end, pretty much in the center of the fairway, we want to make sure we're trying to aim towards these guys. Or in the very, very far end, you can see the top of the bunker, which is a bit basically where we want to try to aim at. And so this way we stay away from both sides of the trouble. And as you can see, quite a quite a demanding one. So basically you want to have anything from 150 to probably 130 yards into the green, over water, which is gonna be the biggest challenge for most of the people is kind of making sure we stick away with that fear and don't really worry about the water, making sure we're gonna get this towards the center or even to the back of the green so that we make sure we avoid all the trouble. Anything that's a little bit long is not too hard. You're just going to have a chip up onto the green. But it's definitely what you want to be, again, making sure you get stay away from the front side and leaving anything short. And you want to go back part of the green. And here we are standing on the last hole, the 18th here at Sime Country Club Waterside, which is, again, a very scenic hole with water all the way in play, all the way up to the green. So anything off the tee, that goes to the left is going to be done for. Right, so we want to make sure we've got a bit of a carry here for you guys. So we always a little bit into the breeze this hole. So make sure if you feel like you don't have a 180 yard, 170 yard carry, kind of make sure you get it onto the fairway and kind of clear that bunker. We want to stay a little bit more on the right hand side. Again, it's a par five, so you don't really need to be worried if we're staying a little bit on the right hand side to begin with. If you're long enough, aim right over that bunker there and make sure you get towards the center of the fairway. So after a successful drive we are still quite a fair bit off the green so we don't really want to make sure we attack it. It's quite a long hole and always a bit of a cross breeze from here. What we basically want to make sure you're about 250, 260 yards out. Make sure you, you select a club where you feel like you can get your third shot into a, into a zone and to a distance which you like and make sure we get it on the green. Okay, and here we are on the third shot, approach shot into this par 5 18. After successfully avoiding the water on the left on your second shot and laying it up to somewhere around, you know, 100 yards to 130 yards is probably what you're going to face. Is we're going to have a wedge shot or maybe an iron iron for you guys into a well protected green where we see we've got a big bunker here on in front on the left. Still, water comes into play if you hit it left, if you go too long, right? Water's kind of feeding back behind the green back in with, so we don't want to, you know, over club it this time and making sure we stay out of the right hand bunker. So, again, good target is pretty much center of the green. Again, trying to feel like you're going to hit it in between those two bunkers. And again, center green is a pretty good spot to aim at.